Are you using TradingView to its full potential? Chances are you're not. But by the end of this video, you hopefully will. Because today I will be talking about five TradingView tips, tricks, and settings that will take your trading game to the next level, no matter if you are a day trader or a swing trader, if you're trading cryptocurrency or trading stocks. These tips, tricks, and settings are helpful for everyone. So yeah, guys, I'm not here to waste your time. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so let's start right away here by taking a look at tip number one. So for this first tip, let's imagine that you have a trading strategy, right? Where you have to use multiple indicators. So let's, for example, say that you have a trading strategy where you have to use multiple moving averages. So the normal way to open up moving averages would be to simply go to the indicators tab here and search for moving average. Uh, and then let's say we want to open up, you know, three different moving averages and let's choose the simple moving average right here. Uh, so what you then have to do is that you have to open up your first moving average. You have to go up here to the settings tab and, you know, choose what length of the moving average you want to choose. So let's, for example, say that we want to use uh, 20 length. Then you have to change this manually and then you have to open up your second moving average so you have to go up to the indicators tab once again search for moving average open up yet another simple moving average change the settings of this new moving average let's say that your second moving average is 50 and so on and so on and this method right here is inefficient for multiple reasons. One big reason is that TradingView, even if you have a paid plan, has a limit on the amount of indicators you can actually use. For example, I think the entry level plan for TradingView only allows for five indicators at the same time. So let's say that you have to use five moving averages. Well, then you have already used up all your indicator slots right and you can't add another indicator that you might need for your strategy and the solution to this problem let's actually remove these two indicators right here is to look out for indicators that combines multiple indicators so you'd only use up one slot for multiple indicators so let me show you guys how to do this in the case of moving averages so once again let's go up here to the indicators tab but this time instead of searching for just one moving average as we can see there are actually multiple indicators on trading view that combines multiple moving averages so for example this indicator right here which is made by advent trading uh, this one combines three moving averages into one indicator so let's press on this one right here so as you can see it might be a bit hard to see on my chart right now but now on the chart we have actually three different moving averages appearing here but we have only taken up one indicator slot so for this particular indicator let's go up here to the settings tab you can see here that we have a 50 day moving average we have a 100 day moving average and a 200 day moving average all in the same indicator and by the way guys if you are interested in upgrading your trading plan or if you haven't get started with trading view yet i will make sure to leave a link to trading view both here in the top comment of the video as well as in the top of the description as well if you click on this link let me show you guys you can see here that you landed on TradingView through a referral link and you can register now to receive $15 for you and your referrer, which in this case, of course, is me, uh, when you purchase your first subscription. So guys, this is both a great way to support the channel. I truly, truly appreciate all the support, guys. But to make sure that you get the $15 bonus, it's important that you see this pop-up window where it says, look first, then leap. All right, so tip number two in this video is all about using some very nice commands here in TradingView. And I will show you guys the commands that I use a lot. And the first command is pretty simple. Let's say that you draw a random trend line. I just want to draw, you know, a trend line across the, <laughs> across the chart for no reason at all. But if you want to quickly undo anything you did on the chart, you basically hold control and Z at the same time. And this works for anything. Let's say we, for example, use our Fibonacci tool here and you don't need it anymore 
anymore, just hold control and Z. This is super useful, you can use it for anything, you draw something here, you just click control Z, 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 and everything disappears. This is something I use a ton and it's definitely a sort of quality of life upgrade. Uh, on a similar note, another thing that I think is super useful is, let's say that we once again draw a trend line here, and perhaps you want to draw a trend channel. What you can simply do then is that you click control C and then control V. And then you can see that this exact slope of the trend line will be copied here. This has multiple, multiple use cases, such as, you know, drawing support and resistance, drawing trend channels, and so on and so on. So that is definitely another command I highly recommend. Uh, another command that I use quite a bit is if you hold control and use your mouse button, you can see that then we zoom in here on the exact point of, of the chart. So let's say that we wanna zoom out on the exact high right here on the Apple chart. We can simply hold control and zoom in to this point. Uh, so control and mouse wheel is yet another useful command. Tip number three actually comes from something that a lot of you guys have been asking me about. Uh, I have made you know many trading view tutorials here on the channel and a question I often get is, you know, but how do I actually trade on trading view? Uh, that is a question I get a lot and the answer is that most people uh, use a separate platform for that uh, but TradingView actually have a few brokers that you can connect to TradingView and in order to do this what you want to do here is that you want to make sure to choose where it says trading panel right here and the trading panel is a bit hidden but if you hold and drag you can see that we can drag up here and as you can see, we have a few brokers that you can choose in between here and connect to your trading account. And by doing that, you can actually trade on the trading view. So you can connect the broker and trade inside trading view. This is something a lot of you guys have been asking about. So I really hope this will be a useful tip. And on this topic, if you are a beginner trader or if you want to test out some strategies without betting real money, you can actually use something called paper trading. As you can see right here, it says paper trading. And what you can do here is you can press and you can connect with your TradingView account. So as you can see, by using paper trading, you can simulate a real trading environment. So you can sell, you can buy, you have your market order, limit order, stop order. So you can pretty much practice your trading by using this tool but remember guys you will probably not act exactly as you do in real life when you paper trade because many of the things that makes real trading so hard such as you know emotions fear greed and all that will not affect you in the same way when you paper trade all right guys so now we are at tip number four here and for tip number four i want you all to go up here where it says watch list details and news and this is something super, super useful in my opinion. Uh, so as you can see right now, I have a few watch lists. Uh, personally, the first watch list I always have gives me a sort of broad, uh, broad understanding here of the market. I have the biggest Swedish market here, OMX30, because I'm from Sweden. So that is, you know, uh, very relevant to me at least. Then I have, you know, all of the biggest US markets, the S&P 500, the Nasdaq, Dow Jones 30. I have Bitcoin. I have some different, you know, commodities and some of the biggest, you know, tech stocks here. But I also currently think I have a few more lists as well uh, so I have my watch list for example this right here is a few stocks I'm currently watching here I also have my you know massive crypto list here uh, with tons of cryptocurrencies in order to get an understanding of the current crypto market and so on and so on and this can be you know super super useful and guys while we are on this topic I want to move into tip number five here and this is something that I do think a lot of traders miss but if you for example trade stocks for example right now we're looking at Apple what you can see here is that under the watch list you will find another tab and this tab is very interesting for you guys that perhaps combines technical analysis and fundamental analysis many traders actually combine both technical and fundamental analysis and you will see that you will find a lot of information here about about the stock you can for example see we can go down here and see that we have the earnings for apple and compared to uh, estimates as well this is a super useful little tab uh, you can also see we have you know data on dividends we have you know data from the income statement such as revenue net income as well as the profit margin and you can also go down here and get some other you know slightly useful information as well I don't really look at this too much, but they have some technicals here. This is basically when TradingView combines 
combines multiple oscillators to get some sort of signal. Apple is right now a cell according to that, uh, but don't pay too much attention to it. Uh, another thing that might be a bit more interesting is what the analysts are currently rating the stock. They are currently rating it as a buy and so on and so on. Um, but these tabs, especially of if you are trading stocks, guys, don't hesitate to check this one out. All right, guys. Okay, so now when you have learned about how to use TradingView more effectively, you are ready to dive deeper into TradingView's tools. So I highly recommend you guys to watch this video about finding perfect support and resistance levels in any market next.